Hi, I'm Jason Hobbs. In this video, I'm going to walk you through right message segmentation questions. This is the 101 version of my explanation for it. So if you're thinking about segmenting your email list for a great overview, go to this writemessage.com forward slash articles forward slash list dash segmentation dash guide. It's by Brennan Dunn, one of the founders of Write Message. This is a really, really good place to start if you're just beginning with actually segmenting your email list. Now, what are segmentation questions? And these are specific to Write Message, just to be clear. But they're the questions that you ask your email subscribers and really your website visitors within your call to action or CTA funnels, which are once again, specific to the right message app. So my default questions are, I wanna know first, who is on the website and what brings them by? So, you know, who are they? And then what do they want from this website? What are they looking for, right? And then when you're logged into right message, your account, you're going to be able to manage your segmentation questions in two different places. First off is the manage menu. So if you click on manage in that top menu, you'll see the drop down and you'll be able to click on segmentation and questions. And if you're in there and you obviously have any segmentation questions already set up, then you'll see those listed in the left hand column. And at the top of it has that add button if you click it it'll start by giving you an option or a couple of options as far as which of these segment groups would you like to begin with right and obviously you can create a custom segment as well now the other place that you'll find you can manage your segmentation questions and what i mean by that is you can create new ones and edit them in both places is within the actual call to action funnels themselves so here's an example of within the actual visual builder for the CTA funnel, you click one of those little buttons with the, the white plus sign, right? And it's gonna say, hey, here's a bunch of different things that you can do at this juncture in the flow. And one of which is obviously ask a question. So when you click on that, it goes to this, which is saying, hey, here are all the questions the segments and questions that you already have defined and active. And then on top of that, it gives you the opportunity to go ahead and create a, an entirely new question at this juncture if you'd like. Now, when you're actually modifying or managing or editing an, any of your questions that you have set up or you're setting one up for the first time, you're gonna have, there's three tabs, but in the 101 version, we're gonna cover the first two tabs. The very first one is the general tab. And you can see that there's only about four different decisions that you make on this tab. Number one is the segment visitors buy. That's an internal label for this segment, the segmentation question, right? So that you'll only, your, your um, visitors won't see that, but you do want to go ahead and you know keep it organized for your benefit, right? And then the question wording, that is actually visible to any of the website visitors or whatever within the call to action funnels. And then on the right hand, you'll see the possible answers and you can drag those to rearrange them if you'd like. And then you can also click the add button. And then the last one is, do you want to randomize the answers or do you want them to always display in the order that they're listed there? And obviously it's up to you on each one, right? Now, Tab two of the segmentation questions is where you're gonna pipe that information or that data back from right message over to your email service provider. And in this one, I've already set this account up to work with my email service provider, which is ConvertKit. So you'll see the custom field, that's a ConvertKit custom field that it's pulling in and saying, okay, over on ConvertKit, this is the actual custom field you've created there that you want it, you know, this data stored in. And it's displaying the name of the field over there. So over there, I named it who, just so that they match, right? And then you'll see it, it'll show each of the different possible answers. On the left is what the actual question and write message says. And then on the, 
or I'm sorry, on the left it is, and then on the right is what you would want to actually show up in that custom field. Now, you can see that I, in this one, I've just replicated or mimicked the, um, you know, right message question, but you may not want to do that. You may want it to be, you know, a one word type of thing. So, you know, not marketing and then may, or, you know, two words are smaller than just the entire, um, you know, sentence or whatever. But obviously, again, that's up to you. Now, here's an example of my Question number one, which is who, right? And this is on my home page. This is actually the second row. So once you've scrolled down from um, the uh, above the fold, then you'll see this. And at the bottom of it, it's going to ask this question, which best describes you? And if you answer that, here's example number two, it's going to then take you over to, okay, what brought you by today? And then based on those two answers, and here's the thing, you won't see that if you're already a subscriber to my email list. So it's only gonna show up if you are not on my list yet. Because if you're on my list, then you're going to have already answered those questions. So now the pro tip to leave you with is just begin with your first two segmentation questions. If I can impress anything on you, it's when you're starting out with right message, don't try and get super complex to begin with. It can handle all the complexity you could ever want to throw at it and then a thousand times more. However, if you try and do that, it's going to slow you down and it's going to put a long gap between you signing up for your free trial and you actually starting to see any kind of benefits from this tool. If you start out immediately with just use the first two segmentation questions, then you're going to start reaping results immediately. And that's obviously, you know, highly uh, preferable to the alternative, right? So if you have any questions or if I can be of service, jason at jasonobsllc.com is my email. Thanks.